Hey everyone and welcome to another Ark Survival Evolved video with Jesse Gamers. Today we're going to uh, go and find us a dung beetle. I'll show you here in, in a minute why, so let's get to it. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Whiteout. She's one of our friends on the game. Um, she's helped me a few times on here. And she's a, a really loyal subscriber of mine. Uh, she sent me a gift for Easter and I wanted to open it up on here. And I also wanted to send her one in return. So let's see what we got. And excuse me for falling down the stairs, y'all. And we got an outpost. So we're going to have to put that up. Outpost again? It's one of the things where you can buy stuff out of with, with uh, cures and stuff. What I don't know exactly what it has on that one. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna buy her a gift. And I'll mail it to. Let's see where she is. And she is now been mailed the mailbox. Oh, well, the the gift. <laughs> All right. So, as I explained before, uh, I I did redo the base some. Uh, our new trimate has some new tames. I got rid of some because they were not any that we needed they were pretty much useless to us so i got rid of those i'm going to go ahead and show some of the changes that i've made so far uh i did turn this side where it was a former tribe mates base uh i turned into a stable where we have our tribe mates moose megaloceros wherever you want to call it our equuses and our unicorns The Arthropleurs remained here. Uh, I put the Gigas over here. Figured it would be better for them to be on this side, being that they're the bulkier. And I moved Big Shaft over there. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show off. We have Felicia here that we got from James. Uh, he gave her to us. And these two here are currently not ours. They belong to Kid Ian. Um... He is away on a trip. I'm still waiting for him to contact me. I haven't received any kind of of um, info from him whether or not he has quit the game. So I don't know if these belong to us or not. So for now, they're still his. And if he ever does come back to the game, they'll still go back to him either way. Uh, I did place the ones that were lined up. I kind of like lined them up over here. Um forest here he has his own little spot we have a new bear doesn't have a name i don't know if our tribe mate wants to name his tame so we haven't uh really kind of pushed that or anything and we have leonardo and turf And then our wolves and our sabers. One wolf we do plan to uh, find a new home eventually because we would like to get a better one. And this is our tribe mate's wolf. Just not a good wolf. We can get a better one out of the ice cave or, or breed ours to get a better wolf. And we're, we're planning on tampering with that. We haven't uh, totally understood the whole concept of it. So we're trying to do some research. And our trimate did raise a quetzal during the breeding weekend for Easter. This is Joker's and, um, what's her name? Black Widow's baby. Black Widow. Pretty good yep. stats. She's almost grown. Oh. 
right here um i left the quetzals basically where they were they may have moved over just a little bit but not much but i built a pen and the animals that roam because i was kind of worried they might would uh unclaim or something because they get too far away uh this is where they are our perlovias are also in here <laughs> I left them in here for Whoa. for any kind of protection possible. They're glitching right now. Not surprising. And then, yeah, um, I didn't know that one was there until you put, dug it up and it scared me. <laughs> we also put our uh, gorillas in here for protection. Also to calm them down on picking for fiber because they are full of fiber and place the the uh, kangaroos here um, over here I also have teal she kind of has her own spot yeah. Miss Teal the rhino and the mammoths we have our trimates mammoth and then we place the rhino the rhinos the rex is over here and our aloe and carno here and then here's big shaft like i was speaking about earlier i do plan to do something different later with the greenhouse i haven't totally decided exactly what i want to do but i want to make it a little bit nicer i'm going to redo the pipes to the base because it's really tacky. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of funny now that we made the base bigger. Yeah. Uh, we have the Stego back here and uh, Sarah the Tripod and our um, Spinos. We have our new Spino that belongs to our tribe mate. And same thing, the Baryonyxes have not moved and neither has our Dunkleosteus. Uh, I did do something new to try to cut down on some of the things that are spawning in the base and I planted 12 of the X plants and they do work for creatures except for it seems like jellyfish that decide they want to spawn in here. Uh, it did kill a megalodon that I lured in here so that's good and the only reason why I was worried about it is because a megalodon spawned in over here the other day and uh, it swam over here to Stu and started beating up on him and Stu is not a very high level so I don't think he can really take on a megalodon. That's why I was really worried about the um, explant. So not only does it help protect the water, it's helping protect this part of the base in this area. So that's the point of why we're having to go get a dumb beetle. We need an extra dumb beetle to make more fertilizer so we can make sure we have plenty to go around for our plants that will be in the greenhouse and our X plants. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start getting ready and we're going to head to the uh, easy cave. We'll go ahead and get the, possibly get the artifact depending on how far we have to go. And then we'll head back to base and do a, um, a feature. Dumb me forgot the rotten meat to tame the um, the dumb beetle. So I'm just going to have to do with the meat that we get off the creatures we kill. So Jesse and I are going to head in here. This is a pretty easy cave. I've ran this one by myself several times. Yeah, it's pretty easy. This one... This one we don't have a problem with. It's all the other ones that are a little tricky, but that's okay. We're always up for a good challenge. Uh, I did go ahead and bring my rifle. I don't know if Jesse did or not, but I went ahead and brought mine just in case I needed it for Arthropleurus. Oh, you mean that? I don't think I did. Well, it's okay. It's no big deal. You can use crossbows. Oh, wait, yeah, I did bring my rifle. I see it. Never mind. Brain fart. You crazy. I know. I brought my, uh, 
prosper in my gun. And to ask for whatever I need it for. Okay, we, we have a, a beautiful scorpion up here that you want to kiss. Ew, I don't want to kiss that. Well, you did in the other cave. Well, I wasn't trying to jump everywhere. It was an accident. Jessica, uh, don't, don't hurt the scorpion's feelings, okay? Oh, just in case you guys are wondering, my actual name is Jessica, but I go by Jesse on here because it's shorter. Uh, yeah, I accidentally slipped up because my sister's name was Jessica, and I have a tendency to do that sometimes. Oh, it's alright. Oh, it's okay. There's so many of them, I don't think it bothered them anyways. Oh, whoa. You sure you don't want to give it a big kiss? Because I think it likes you. It probably did, but you know what? I'm taking. I know. <laughs> uh, this one's coming for you. Oh wait, it saw me and left. Oh, no. It must when it heard me say I was taking, it was leaving. Over here. That's the thing about caves is you gotta watch the drop offs. I think there's a note in front of us, but I think we got that. Oh, BB fingers. Um, there were some spiders that came out and attacked us just now. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, I just got webbed and then I got bit by a snake and then all sorts of things came at me. Dang. Oh. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. That was funny. I was gonna shoot it, but my gun took forever to load. Oh. I did not want to be kissing those today. But <laughs> I guess they like me anyway. Whoa, glitch from hell right there. And we're flying Jesse. Oh. Shake the ribbon off, dang. Whoa. Dung beetle, let's see what level it is. A four. Let's see what else we can find first. Might need to go a little bit higher than a four, but not too bad. Oh, whoa. I don't want to drop off there. I don't feel like dying today. Man. Okay, allergies, you picked a bad time to make my eyes water. Oh well. Oh, yep. I already got that one. Whoa. Red swim. 
Sneak up. Here it goes. What's going on? No, 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 no. I crashed. Oh, no. Okay, I'm coming back. Oh, how did I go down so low? Oh, my gosh. No. Oh. Everything just followed me in the water. I mean, centipede and everything. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm working I'm on it. I'm working on it. I think I killed everything. No, I didn't kill everything. Oh! Hope I'm going the right way. Okay, I did. Wow, that was crazy. See if I you got a spider on you. It's dead. So here's another dumb beetle. Okay, oh, pfft, this is even worse. A level okay, one. I'm still recording. Okay, I'm still recording. I switched. Okay. After you, ma'am. Let's go this way. We have to meet you. You went too far that way. We got everything coming after us now. Oh, get prepared. Uh -oh. I think everything's... Oh, live spider behind us. How many states came after us? Oh, Dang. Oh. Oh. Dang it. And it Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here and die. Mama Mia. Here's another dumb beetle. This one's level five, so that's better. Looks like we're getting closer to some higher ones. Whoops. Uh oh. Oh. That is not what I said pull out. I do not want to kiss you today, Mr. Snakey. Don't hurt the snake's feelings. Oh. What have I told you about this? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, crap. What's wrong? Oh, an Arthropleura. Two of them. I can't get it off me. And I just flat out missed it, and it's right there in my face. I can't see it. Oh. Oh, I, got I got it. Those Whoa. things are just so glitchy, man.
All right, let's go off in this area over here. Okay, I'm coming back. Oh, ew, that just looks nasty and creepy. What did I tell you about no, making fun Bye. of the poor snakes and creatures? Now, I hope that learned you a lesson. Taught you a lesson, not learned you a lesson. What are you doing? Hello? I got, a, I got a soothing balm, a metal pick blueprint, and a metal hatchet blueprint. Let me see what the blueprints are. Mastercraft metal hatchet blueprint and apprentice metal pick blueprint. Or your turn. Two blueprints and a fishing mod. Uh. I got a uh, my printer, uh, yeah, apprentice hide helmet and a Mastercraft pipe blueprint. Not bad. Okay. Well, let's, uh -huh. let's go ahead and head back. All right, we're finally back, and um, we decided that we are going to name the new dumb beetle Poo Poo Pachu. Yeah, after I crashed a few times, you, uh, it was coming back to base, and I had the dumb beetle with me, and my game decided to crash in a bad spot, and he almost died getting the dumb beetle here. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be all right. We got it back. He's okay. Or she. Whatever. It's okay. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and head to our featured base of the uh, video. So um, stay tuned. Hey, don't you be coming in here jumping on me wherever you are a person? They're part of their tribe, Jesse. I know, but I was being this person with Jeff and I mean, I was being a smart ass back. Excuse my language. Okay, so today's feature is going to be Squirrel and Kaylee's tribe. Um, we, I've known Squirrel before. I've spoke to her before, but I don't know Kaylee. I might have uh, dealt with her before. Just, just don't remember because it's been a while back. But they have agreed to let us feature their base. So that's Kaylee that's waving there. She's going to show us some stuff around. Squirrel and Kaylee is, uh, they're going to let us go do a tour. This is their, I guess, their main base. Really nice place. Got some birds and their tape there. Uh, I like how they put oh, their little flowers outside. Whoops. Yeah, those are cute. Oh, this is cute. I like this. How they have like a little entrance and this pretty rug right here. I want to see if I can do my rug like this. I like this. 
That almost reminds me of my old bass in uh, single player that was like this, and I tried to get it to work like this, and it was all goofed up. And she said, upstairs is just random machines, so it's nothing special. And then there's a room right here. That's pretty cool. I like this, how they done this. And they have the fairies back here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a little cool oh, add-on there. They're so cute. Uh. Huh? Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just a weirdo. <laughs> Uh, she said this is her their animal pen. So, oh, they got oh, a Megaceros wow. Lucas. I don't know that person. Just another person that I haven't oh, met before. Oh, it's so cute. It's a pinky. The beaver. There's their and dumb beetle. They have. They got a compy. That's a pretty RG. A rhino. Moose. John Snow is the moose's name. That's funny. There's a Game of Thrones character name. A dung beetle. They named their dung beetle Stinky. I like that. Yeah, Stinky. And uh, they may have a um, mutated wolf here. And this is a pretty wolf. Percy. This one, too. Jenna. Alpha female. Dire wolf. Worthy. Moon. And another dire wolf. And a dad will for you. Cute. Whoa. Beep, beep. Whoa. The Rex is in the Gigas. Yeah, they have a Giga. This is Nose's house. So this is one of their tribe mates' house. Uh, this kind of looks like a beach house. So this is cool. Uh, they got a chief hat on the wolf. Oh my god! Too funny. That is cute. So there's chief or no, sorry. This is nice. This looks like like a little beach hood or something. Uh, this would be like yeah, the fishing pier. This is so cool. Right? Mm, very nice view. And I'm, I'm assuming that probably their Megs and their uh, uh, fish taming area or yeah. whatever. Ooh. Yeah. They have a little garden right here. This is cute. Don't go back in there, Jesse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sorry about that, yo. <laughs> I was just playing on my jump button doing that. Yeah, you were. That scared me for a minute. Thought I was a goner there for a second. <laughs> So they have um, level 64 giga. That's pretty good. Yes. That's by, That was obtained by her nans. A giga, two vexes, and an allosaurus named Allie. She said somewhere was their sheds. Follow her. Okay. Okay, so this little area is their shed. So it looks like they these, have, uh, like, their little, um, uh, machine things with charges and everything. Oh, wow. Metal foundry. Okay, I'm going in third person. There we go. Oh, this is a nice, all of, both of these are nice equuses they have here. Black and this brown color. Oh. Those are really oh, pretty. Oh, then they're cute. They said this is their barn, and this is a pretty color equus, too, that they, they spayed this one. Oh, wow. The Brano's trying to come in, and she said that's it, so. Yeah. 
This is a really nice area. Yeah, it is. Wow. So we're going to do our drive-by here. And we're going to start trying to do these on Joker since uh, we're both facing forward. It'll be a lot easier. And, um... Yeah. I agree. Jesse will be able to see forward. So we're going to start in the back here. I like, um... I like the little beach hut type building. I can't say that that's my favorite though because honestly all of them I like. I just thought that that one was unique. Yeah. What I thought that, I, that was really cute was how they done their little art garden area. It literally looked like a garden you would have at home. Like where you would plant your own yeah. uh, vegetables and stuff. Oh yeah, most definitely. And I like this area too. This was a good idea. Cuts down on having to block in the whole base, but um, with me, I like to be able to block in the entire base. That way, it protects your your main area from being attacked in case you're in there and then something decides it wants to come get a good chomp out of you or something. Yeah, most definitely. I like their spinos that they're that they have standing on their shed like that. That's cute. Yeah, kind of like they're displayed. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And their barn was real nice. I really like the equuses they had. I guess yeah. Albert's was like that. To, maybe if we done one of them a brick colored, but I don't know if we want to do that. I don't want to ruin them. We'll see. Yeah. And I guess these are some that's in the making. Don't want to. So I'm going to go back and do another little pass by. So what is your grade on it? because of, of just the, its uniqueness and I just like the way they have all their animals displayed and put in a, uh, a spot. I agree. Especially because of, and I know I just already mentioned this, but I really think that the little beach type place is unique because I haven't seen anything like that on the server. Me neither. Oh, and, and another thing I want to point out that I really like is the entrance to this building. Like, this is really pretty. Yeah, it is. It's really cute. It's almost like you're walking into an actual house that has, like, potted plants on each side. Yeah. Alright, so uh, we'll go ahead and head back to base. Let Jesse crash some more. <laughs> hey, I can't help if the game doesn't like me. And that's going to be today's video. I hope everyone that watched enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a new video. Uh, I'm on social media. The names will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to head over and check out Jesse Gamer's page. Her link will be in the description also. Thanks so much for watching.